I went out Monday night, real warm night, and uh, just looking for acorns. We had a really late frost in the spring, and that late frost in the spring uh, was in the valleys, and it pretty much destroyed all oak production in any of the valleys. Uh, there was a temperature inversion that day, so all the cold air and moisture was down in the valleys, and most of the ridge tops, like above 1,600 feet, didn't get that frost. So I went on Monday night looking at one area uh, to see if I could find some acorns, and I'm going to another area tonight. Uh, we had a cold front start to come in last night. Uh, it was 84 degrees yesterday, 77 today. It's supposed to be mid-60s tomorrow and into the uh, high 50s on Sunday. So even though it's early, uh, second week in October, I plan on spending a lot of time out in the woods this weekend. If nothing else, I uh, hope to get some deer on film and possibly get a doe. some acorns on top of ridges. This is the second time that I've done this. Today. So with this cold front, even though it's early October, I'm hoping it's going to get the deer up on their feet and moving. So I'm going to get out tonight, do a little scouting, and be ready to hunt for the rest of the weekend. I'm down into this bottom. I'm following this deer trail across. There's this area of hardwoods that's in between three different pine plantations. I just kicked up three doe up above me that were bedded just inside the pines there. So I'm down as far as I'm going to come. Now I'm going to start working my way back up to the top of the ridge. And as I'm moving along, I'm looking for oaks that have acorns and uh, any fresh sign like fresh scrapes or heavy trails. A lot of red oaks in here, just no acorns because of that frost. So I'm going to keep moving up elevation. No acorns in that tree. right on the edge of this pine woods and these hardwoods with oaks is only about a hundred yards away from some CRP. This guy's got a great stand location here but man that's super low. I can't imagine he can't get picked out all the time right there. So I'm finally all set. I'm right on the border of public and private. I actually had to come to the very top of this ridge, over 1,950 feet, to even find four mature oaks that had even some acorns. So I got myself set up right now. Where I'm hoping some deer are bedded over the edge. I've got the wind in my face, and i got about 40 minutes before sunset, hoping that maybe some doe will come in and feed on these acorns now before it gets dark. I've got a buck that just came in behind me. Just saw flashes of antlers through the thick stuff. Oh, here comes another deer. He's got me pinned. It's exactly the way my scent's going. 
just barely see his face out there. Yep, there he goes. Oh, he's a decent. He's a decent two and a half year old. Oh, I screwed that one up. Watching two bucks behind me. Trying to get them on camera. And all of a sudden I hear a deer blow. 20 yards right to my left. And I've got two does standing right next to me. Forget how damn smart these animals are until you get back out in the wood hunting again. Realize how easy it is to screw it up. I got to see deer. That's a cool thing. Two buck, five doe tonight. Well, not bad. Third night out this season. First time really hunting. Kicked up three doe as I was working in there, and about 45 minutes before dark, I had two buck work in behind me. And as I was trying to get them on video, I uh, had two doe come up within 20 yards to the left of me and blow and spook and run away. But you keep learning. It's a good night out. It's all five doe and two buck and uh, plan on hunting the rest of the weekend. Uh, rest of the weekend from a tree, not from the ground though. So we'll see you guys out in the field tomorrow. <laughs> I got in the truck just in time, literally. 10 seconds after I got in the truck and shut the door, it started pouring down rain. Woohoo!